He's the NFL star who became a hero, re-energizing the Big Easy after the devastation of Katrina. But now, as former New Orleans Saint Steve Gleason bravely faces down a debilitating illness, his toughness and unrelenting spirit are shining through in a different way, sharing with the world the playbook he's crafting for his own newborn son. The searing new documentary that has everyone talking. He shares his story now with ABC's Michael Strahan. What is this all about? I am making a video blog of myself. This is intended to be a gift for you, uh, my child, who I have not yet met. On the football field, Steve Gleason was known for being fast and fearless. In 2006, he became a hero to a city that really needed one. This block, clinching a win for the New Orleans Saints in their first home game after Hurricane Katrina ravaged the city. A hero then and a hero now, but for a very different reason. I have been diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It's a disease in the motor neurons, and uh, this disease is, is almost always fatal. Just a few weeks after this devastating news, Steve and his wife Michelle found out they were having a baby. Do you think it already has a hard head? <laughs> it comes from his dead side. <laughs> so they started filming everything, love letters and life lessons for their son, while Steve still had the chance. I feel like he had this terminal diagnosis, but we felt like we could walk on water. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, how are you now? It was one of the happiest moments of both of our lives, just knowing, like, we were going to have a baby and this is going to happen. And Do you remember that day? Since then, ALS has robbed Steve of his ability to move, to talk, and to breathe. Today, he relies on a computer to speak. I had some soaring and incredible moments on the football field, but I've had even more uplifting moments off the field since diagnosis. We're doing really the coolest thing we can do together, right? That's right. That's a boy, Rivers. That's my boy. Yeah. They captured more than 1,300 hours of memories for their son named Rivers. The making of a new documentary called Gleason. I'm choosing to live with disease and live with passion, intention, of the purpose. An unflinching story of love marriage, and fatherhood Daddy. Daddy. under the impossible pressures of ALS. I love you. I've been thinking about fathers and sons a lot and since you've been born. And uh, at this point, it looks like we're not going to have the normal father-son relationship. What are you passing on the rivers? Besides the hard It's head. a constant work in progress. I've tried to share not only my memories and my loves, but also my self-doubts and my shortcomings. I can't go out and play catch with you. I can't throw you batting practice. But uh, I want to do everything I can to be a good father, uh, to give you what a son needs from his father. And uh, I'm going to be around, buddy. And. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be awesome. The movie revealing intimate moments, not just of strength, but also of struggle. It's crazy, man. I am to the point where I barely go out of the house by myself. Michelle goes everywhere with me now. She helps me shower. She helps me put on my clothes. She helps me eat. All marriages have their challenges. All marriages have their ups and downs. Why do you decide to share this? these moments. We could have made a movie that kind of glosses over the hard parts and just showed the hero part and the, the easy parts, but that's it's just, it's almost like a falsity. We wanted to show the truth. You have a mom who is just incredible. Incredible. Remarkable, amazing. And we're both so lucky to have her. Mm -mm. Go, go, go. 
Throughout this film, there is some moments of incredible humor. How do you keep that going? How do you laugh in certain moments that other people seem like you want? You, you should almost be crying in? You gotta do something, and we're both funny. Um, we're both funny people, I think. <laughs> go, Danny, go! So, laughing has been uh, one of the best solutions to get through this. I'd like to say I'm a naturally funny dude. But in reality, I think I just have no choice. Did I one time tell you that I think you got funnier after diagnosis? <laughs> Your humor and courage seem to be speaking to people. The film is receiving critical acclaim and it's already getting Oscar buzz. Director Clay Twill jumped at the chance to tell the Gleason story. When I joined the project, I felt like the story was going to be about this guy who, through a tragic set of circumstances, was finding his purpose and kind of this father and son story. But what I really didn't know was, and what nobody talked about, was Michelle's experience. I think any caretaker, you're always kind of there trying to make things easier for him. I just feel like it's, it is, it's what I do, and it's, it's our relationship, it's what we do. It's, it's just kind of like part of our life. Like, this is, this is what it is. So I set up things for him in the morning, set up things for him at night help him walk, help him brush his teeth, help him help feed him, and it's, it's just kind of like a new part of life, just like it is learning how to take care of rivers. For a football star, losing the ability to move is almost unthinkable. For Steve and Michelle, losing the ability to communicate was worse. I'm excited for the day when you are teaching me. The losing of the voice is the scariest and saddest part, I think, of this process. It was, it's a brutal time. It transpires that my over has evidentiary not But buried. just like on the football field, Steve refused to give up. He researched this place where you can actually um, voice bank, so his mechanical voice is gonna be his voice. Then it goes to eye technology where he talks with his eyes, but he's talking a letter at a time. Hi, Michelle, you rock. <laughs> Since talking takes Steve a bit of time, we gave him our questions in advance. Making sure that all ALS patients have access to this kind of technology has become one of Steve's missions. With the help of his family and teammates, he created a nonprofit called Team Gleason. ALS doesn't just kill you. It steals your life a little bit at a time, unless we stop it first. Most of what ALS takes away, technology can give back. I love you. <laughs> Maybe most importantly, the technology has given Steve time to watch rivers grow. I often feel inadequate as a father. Fortunately, because of this badass technology and an equally badass care crew, I'm able to be very involved in rivers' life. Did you make any new friends today? No. I didn't stand it. Did you play with Cohen today, bro? I pick up rivers every day from school. He's got to try harder than any other dad because he can't talk. Rivers is fast, he's slow. It's just difficult. It's easy to quit, and Steve is not a quitter. Can you come to October 19th? One, two. two. Here's my thinking. My life ain't easy, but it's awesome. Nothing worthwhile is easy. For Nightline, I'm Michael Strahan in New York. He is indeed awesome. Gleason opens up in select theaters across the country this weekend.